guy shouldn't be dating a woman that's more than two thirds of his body weight. The woman should feel smaller. He used to feel like he could kill her, but he's not gonna. As cringe as we've seen these alpha males being, they should stay on the internet. You know why? Because you guys are an embarrassment and you prove yourselves each and every day. So you are actually helping women that have even tried to consider you as an option. And for the women that are looking at this man and are like, oh, yes, yes, he's right. No, there's no man in his right mind that'll sit up in front of a camera and say that he wants a slim woman just because he can be dominating her in a sense of abuse, in a sense of unaliving her. That is not normal behavior. And look in the comment section below for all the guys that agree with him, if they are any, and run the other direction. Stay away from these guys. If anything, if you are dating a guy, send this to him and see what he says. Guy shouldn't be dating a woman that's more than two thirds of his body weight. The woman should feel smaller. He used to feel like he could kill her but he's not gonna. If I'm holding a girl and subconsciously she knows that if I wanted to, I could pick her up and throw her into the wall, but I'm not, she's like, okay, I trust him. He's in control of himself. What compels you to project out vomit those ugly words? And the thing with these alpha males, their ego is so huge, so huge. But you know what? It is easily bruised. And that is the weakness of an alpha male. And that's why they are overconfident, over cocky, over themselves even. They're over the high horse that they were already sitting on. How much higher can you get before you fall? And it's not that hard to trigger an alpha male. But the thing is, if you are dating someone that tells you they're an alpha male, <laughs> There is no man that'll say, I'm an alpha male. Well, bro, that's weird. That's weird. I'm not going to say exactly what I think because I may get canceled, but that's just weird. I want them to feel like I can shove them on the wall. Like, what? I want them to be scared. I want them to fear me. I want them blah, blah, blah. I want them projectile vomit everywhere. Chill. Stay away from men like this. I am not laughing because it is hilarious. Actually, I am laughing because I am in disbelief that someone can sit up here and say, I want her to know that I can unalive her, but, but fear not because I won't. Like, bro, what? This is what women have always been talking about. Men like this. You could have said anything in the world. You could have said you like to pick her up for wink, wink. You like, no, you just resorted to violence. You are not one for peace. You want violence. You want the drama. And quite frankly, you're acting like a little B word. And I cannot be the only one who thinks this is wrong. Comment down below what you guys think of this guy who is going crazy, who has ultimately lost his mind, who has such confidence that he thought it was okay to come up here and show his face to the entire world for us to see expecting us to agree. Let's look into these other stitches. This isn't about trust. This is about fear. This is about intimidation. You want to be able to physically overpower her or have her fear that you could physically overpower her if she says or does something that you don't like. Why not use your words? Why not use your actions? Why not use your character to show this woman that you are trustworthy? Why would a woman have those kind of thoughts about somebody she's romantically interested in? Like, this is how you feel about a stranger. If I see a, a larger than me strange man walking up to me, then I'll have those, th those thoughts in my mind. He could physically overpower me he could kill me with his bare hands he could throw me up against a wall but why would a woman ever have those thoughts about a man that she's intimately involved with or romantically involved with no you want her to fear you the threat of physical harm shouldn't come from my own man it should come from some strange man you should want to be bigger so that you can defend me if need be that you can protect me if need be not that you can use your strength against me so this is disgusting for obvious reasons um, I shouldn't even have to list why this is just unacceptable. But alongside that sentiment, it's also so apparent that men who think like this and the women who agree with this kind of thinking for the sake of being liked by that man, men who think like this, who make everything superficial 
and about looks and your weight and how pretty you are, how young you are. It is so apparent that they have no idea what real love is like and what real commitment is like, what it's like to stand by your partner and to care about them and to value them and to include them in your life in building a future for the both of you because all you're focusing on is all these weird standards that you have that in the long run don't matter. They're not going to determine if your partner's going to stick by you or if you're going to build a life together successfully. It's not an indicator of how much they will care for you when you're old and sick, if they'll have your back when you need them the most, because building a life together is not what you see on Instagram that couples post, like influencers post influencer couples. That's not what building a life is. It's not about appearing a certain way because you have to actually go through life stuff together. You have to go through hard times together and financial decisions, decisions when it comes to whether or not you have kids and how you raise them, how you're going to run your life together. In the long run, why does it, why does it matter so much how small your female partner is compared to you? Why is that so important? Why is that all that you want? Why is that all that you focus on? You're not allowing any room for a real human connection and that's all you're focusing on and all you're preaching about. And it's really disgusting. And it's the source of all of your problems when it comes to stuff like this is because you think like that. All I can say is ladies, if you want an alpha male, He's not going to sit up in your face and tell you that he's an alpha male. That's cringe. A true gentleman is exactly what it is in the word. A gentle man. You want to be submissive. You're not forced into being submissive. So be by yourself. Be alone until you have enough self-confidence, self-esteem. And I say this because men like him prey on people with low self-esteem as well. And even if you don't have low self-esteem issues, make sure you know exactly what you want in a man and stay on your ground until a real gentleman can sweep you off your feet. See you guys on the next one.